Hey guys, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be reading my entire IMG collection. Over these past couple years, I kind of developed an obsession and I now have a pretty sizable collection. And that's not even all of it. I've sold some stuff, I've lost some stuff, but I'm gonna be just trying on what I have right now. So let's just get into it, yeah? So starting off strong, we have the Jordan skirt. I love this. I feel like I wear it all the time. If I'm like going out to the club, this is like the first thing that I'll try to wear. I feel like if I could describe my style in one item of clothing, it would definitely be this skirt. It's not too short. Well, I don't know. You guys be the judge. And I can sneak little things in the pockets when I go to the club. I don't know what this top is called, but I got it like a year ago and I wear it all the time. So I'll give both of these a 10 out of 10 for sure. So I don't remember what this top is called, but I'll put it on the screen. It's white and it kind of has this like open front. It's really, really cute. But if you bend over, you can see like your titties from the side. So you would need fashion tape if you wanted to wear it out. So I would give this one a seven out of 10. It's a man character moment for sure. Okay, so I think I hauled this dress when I first got it, like last year. This is the Amina dress. So the sleeves are flared and it's a little bit sheer and it has cutouts on the sides. I love this dress. I will give it a 10 out of 10 because it is so comfortable and it's just hot. Like you can adjust the sides so that it comes up higher on your thighs. Or not. I think I will give this one a 10 out of 10. I've never had any issues with it. Oh, bag is thrifted and shoes are unit. Okay. This is a white jumpsuit. I really like this. I think it's cute and I think it's really flattering. The only thing is it's a bit tight. I really have to squeeze into this but it doesn't fall down and the whole thing is one outfit so i don't really have to style it much but i did style it with these ego official like disco heels and this bag i got from the crypt i'll give this like an eight and a half out of ten because it, it's a little small and i can like kind of hardly breathe right now but i would recommend it And it's hot and sexy. Okay, so this is the Astoria dress. It's like red on top and it kind of has this leopard print bottom <laughs> skirt. This is the front. It kind of has this drop thing. I don't know. And then the back, it's kind of an open back. So I don't love this. Let me tell you why. The front, I feel like there's literally no way you can go out without popping a titty several times. Like you're definitely gonna need fashion tape or whatever. And then another thing is the color slash, oopsie. Another thing is the color slash print. I am just not a colorful dresser like at all. This is kind of out of my comfort zone. I feel like this would definitely be cute on somebody else. But look, my boobs aren't even big and they're like threatening to come out kind of has that 90s vibe to it i'm gonna rate it like a six out of ten because it's very exposing but i look hot in everything i wear so it's gonna look good either way period period okay let's see all right next outfit okay so this is the Amina top. This is the top version of the Amina dress I just showed. It has the same pattern and it's the same like blowout sheer print. It also comes with this bikini top because it's sheer. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if this is allowed, but it's really cute. It says, it says Gia right here in the middle, but yeah. So there's that. And then these are the Nevea pants, I think. So basically all IMG pants are really, really long. So I think you're supposed to wear platforms with them because otherwise you are a street cleaner. I left these untied on purpose because I don't really know how to tie them. I've seen like on the website and just like on girls that have them online, they were able to make them like really distinctly V-shaped. When I 
like stretch them out like as much as they go i can kind of get the v-shape but not as much as like i've seen other people have them so i'm not really sure why that is but i think i could either just do it like that and then tuck the strings so then tuck the strings like that or i think i could do this type of thing and bring them up to kind of have that like effect i don't know what it's called but this is also really cute too but i paired them with my uh, parker boots and then this vintage coach bag this is like one of those outfits that if i saw somebody wearing i'd think about them for the rest of the day i'm gonna give these pants a nine they're comfortable they're very snug they're very cool i just don't know how to tie them and then i'm gonna give this top I'm gonna just, I think it deserves a 10. I think I'll give this top a 10 because I really like it. I'll, I'll go back and give these pants like an eight and a half because they're a hundred dollars. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit rapid fire because I look at your places to be. IMG a little black top section. Um, so this, I don't know what it's called, but this is, this is probably one of the cutest items in my collection. It's just so like angelic and you probably can't see, but it's like a little angel wing over here and it's just so cute. This definitely deserves a 10. It's definitely for not if I'm bloated, but it is just too cute. So 10 for this. So since I'm like doing tops now, I move the thing closer, but this is the Cosmo top. I probably wouldn't style out these pants, but the top alone, we're just talking about the top. It is so freaking cute. I love how they can do like this open concept without you having to worry about having a nip slip and fearing for your life that that will happen. It kind of has this like rubbery material on the inside. So it like sticks to your roof. I was at least like once a week. But so this is going to get from me a 10. But yeah, this is super cute. I love it. Okay, so I changed out of the Nevia pants because I was kind of over them. So I'm gonna be styling probably everything else with this mini skirt from Unif. It's just a black mini skirt. Okay, so this top kind of has this like corset thing going on and then it halters. I really love this, except for the fact that it kind of broke. So you probably can't tell from far away, but one of the little hook and eye things came off. So I don't know if that was like a one-time thing or if this one is just badly made, but honestly for how much I'm gonna cost, I don't really think anything should be breaking, but I do love this and I love the way I styled it. And it kind of just cinches you in and makes you look really snatched. You know, you get a lot of coverage. I really like the way it fits on my body. I don't know. I feel like if you have bigger boobs, it might be a problem, but I'm chilling. This is how the back looks. So I believe that this is the Gianna top. It's super cute. It's white. It's sheer. The only part that isn't sheer is the part that covers your boobs. I love this. I love anything that gives that like dainty, like angel, angelic vibes, I guess. Um, I really want to show you guys how I styled it. I ended up dyeing it with my ego shoes. And I think that this is just so freaking cute. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I really don't have any issues with this shirt. It's just sexy and cute. I'm getting too tired to style, but this is the IMG Carly dress. This is completely sold out on the website. I literally had to hunt the internet for this. And I bought it like on Poshmark somewhere for like double retail, but that's neither here nor there because I wore this on my birthday, love this dress, and I think it is incredibly flattering. Thing. I'll give this an 11 out of 10, but it is beautiful, stunning, show-stopping, gorgeous. I love it. This is the I'm Gia Ulrich play suit. It's not available on the website anymore. This is on another one of those items that... I kind of had to hunt for. I think I got it either on Poshmark or Depop. I love it. It's a bit tight though. It kind of digs in. And if this was last year or even like last month, I probably would have gave it like a low rating because I just didn't know how to wear it. Anything that I wore under it would show through like underwear. 
But the trick is to be completely naked underneath. So there's no like undergarments showing through. But I do think it is really, really cute. I think this is very like darty-ish. Like I would wear this to like a darty or just any like day event where I wanted to look cute. Festival wear. I feel like I'd wear this to a festival as well. Maybe with like a belt, like a silver belt. This is the back. It's open and it has these little like clips. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're they're like seatbelt. They're not seatbelt, but it's like um I don't know what it's called, but they're just like utilitarian type thing. I also ripped it somewhere. Yeah, I ripped it at the butt here. I'm not ready to give this up, so I'm gonna try to figure out a way to like sew it back together. Um, the rip is completely my fault, so it's not like a manufacturing issue. I'll give it an eight out of 10, just because it's kind of tight on the thighs. Like when I take it off after a while, it leaves marks, but that's the price of beauty, love. This is the case and jacket. So this is very comfortable. I used to wear this a whole lot, but I don't anymore, just because I kind of got out of that, like wanting to add color to my wardrobe phase. Like I said earlier, I'm not really a colorful person. So this is probably the brightest thing I own. It's so obnoxious, but like, I kind of like that about it. It's a look at me type jacket, if you know what I mean. I'll give this maybe like a six and a half just because it's not that comfortable. Like the inside is kind of like, like matted. It's a little, you know, but I don't know. It's not bad. Also the sleeves are kind of short, which is whatever. I kind of like to have the sleeves like over my hands because it makes me feel like a lot more secure, but it's, it's not that bad. I like the obnoxious side of it. It's very camp. And if I'm like running errands, I think it's a cute look. This is the last thing I have in my collection. This is the Damani set. I don't like this. I don't like the print. I honestly don't even know why I bought this. This was like from the phase where I would just buy things just to haul them on my channel. Not only is it not really even that cute, it's also not that comfortable. The inside is not soft. Just like abrasive. I just don't think I'm Gia like makes really good loungewear. They're more like going out type clothes, which is fine. You know, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. But yeah, this um, set does not give. And the pants are like weirdly tight and I got them both in a small. Yeah, this is just really ugly, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll give this like a three, maybe a four. But yeah, I tried to style it so it doesn't give and yeah guys that is the end of my collection hold on that is the end of my collection i fucking love all of you guys so much and let me know what else you guys want to see from me and yeah that's pretty much it subscribe if you want to and bye love you